Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Raya, and thank you for tuning in today. And in today's video, I've got a really exciting H&M haul, and it is stuff for the autumn. We are coming towards the end of August, and I've been like dying to like just wear autumn stuff. I've just been waiting for the autumn. I don't know if anyone else feels like this, but I'm just not a summer person. Um, so anyways, excuse the congestion in my nose and I'm so sorry if I've not been filming. Um, I've had family weddings like every weekend and then I haven't been well. So I don't want to bore you with all of um, my excuses. But yeah, I just haven't been feeling too, too great. But today I'm feeling much better and um, I wanted to film a video. I feel like I may have gotten a bug earlier this week. So anyways, let's get into it. So I just needed to get myself a drink. I've been having this drink, apple, mango, spinach and avocado. And I got this from Lidl and I've been really loving it. It just tastes like cucumber. By the way, if you can hear that little knocking, that's my husband cutting away firewood for the autumn um, that we've had in our garden. See. But anyways, hopefully that doesn't disrupt too much. Otherwise, I had to stop. So before I show you the first item, I just want to let you guys know that oh my god, my hair's a mess. Not not that my hair's a mess, but that all the items that I'm going to show you are actually non-maternity, but they've got a stretch to them. Now there's one pair of trousers I'm not sure if they're going to fit, but I will show you them anyways. Okay, so the first top is this. It's like a viscosey fabric, but it's not as soft as viscose. But I don't think it's gonna like pile up. And I got this in a brown color. Let me just step back. So it's got a shoulder pad up here and it's got a little ruching. I feel like it's a bit tight around my neck. I hate things tight around my neck, but it does fit over my bump. So this skirt is a satin skirt that I picked up in medium. Um, I didn't pick it up on this haul, but I have worn it for quite some time throughout the summer and it's nice and roomy. I probably could have gone with a, um, small but i mean at least it's comfortable um but like yeah i just didn't want to spend a ton of money on like maternity wear who wants to do that then you're not gonna wear it so this is a size small so i can wear it after i don't know what my body's gonna be like after but never mind and this is the back bit and i was thinking some brown suede boots like, i've been on the hunt for some comfortable brown suede boots i've got black hair I'm trying to find them in like a chocolate deep brown like this and this is one thing that I'm struggling with so and I would wear it with something like this if I'm going to dinner or maybe for casual wear maybe with a shirt Matisse or like a brown bag so yeah I do really like this top so this top um, is the same as the brown one I did pick this up in a medium um, it's a little bit more comfier around the neck I find the neck a bit you know uncomfortable but it's um I mean, it fits fine. I think with the brown one, the sleeves don't kind of bunch up a little bit um, as much. And this is kind of a bit more ruchy. Um, so, but I think for me, they're both the same. Like, I'd probably keep both in different sizes. They don't really make much of a difference. I have paired these on with faux leather leggings. These are from Caledonia, these leggings. And they're not maternity, but they do do a maternity pair. But I, what I hate about maternity leggings with faux leather leggings is that you've got this horrid band that you have the faux leather comes up to like say here and then you've got this awful band uh, like a support band and really i just want something that's going to be leather at the front because if i want to wear like a cropped jumper then i can but i just don't feel like i can sometimes with some of these but this top is long so it does cover your bump for situations when you are wearing leggings like that so this is quite a cool outfit so yeah, this is quite cool put together and I'll probably, again, use um, this bag here or my pochette matisse or just anything brown. Okay, so I think I'm going to stick to leggings because I look at this. I got these uh, vegan leather trousers from H&M um, and I really wanted like some trousers, some like, long trousers and they're fine everywhere else obviously my stomach now that is my fault because they are not maternity um this is the back bit and hey tom and yeah i obviously can't do this up because of my mom but i do think if you were to buy like a low rise faux leather trouser then you can like your jumper will go over it um or something like that so 
yeah, a bit sad about these, but I kind of was anticipating this. Um, but this top is a cashmere and wool blend. And what I like about these blends is that you, one, you don't have to be overly precious. Two, they do keep you warm and they're a little bit cheaper and they're not as, as soft, I have to admit, but you know, they're okay and they don't pile as much as normal cashmere would and what I like about this is that it's got a, like a quarter length um, and I like this length on me it's very flattering for my arms and I think for the um, like autumn months you can wear this especially like summer autumn you can wear this with like a satin skirt or just put on top or if you have a satin dress then you can just throw this on top and take it off if it's still like really hot so anyways i'll give you some more ideas later on in my next video but i just want to pick up a few essentials but yeah this is not gonna work but i really do want to get some trousers that's why i'm thinking maybe i'll just get like leggings just get a bigger size just go up a size and they'll be stretchier um, then I can wear them So I did want to wear this with like if I'm going cash then I'll probably wear this with like my Hermes Kelly dupe um, that I got from the luxe bag store um, Just like across the body or if I wanted to like switch up a bit of color because obviously we're not like full-on blast autumn yet then this kind of lightens up the outfit um, and this bag is actually from Teddy Blake and you guys how it's been holding up it's been holding up really well obviously you can see like i've been using it it's actually been a really great work bag if i'm honest especially during pregnancy because i can fit all my snacks in i can fit like a brolly in i can fit so much in here but i think i would probably would love to go a size smaller in this um so at the moment they have got a labor day sale between like the first and sixth of september and this is all like Italian leather. The quality is really nice. And the fact that I've like, I don't want to say abused it because I don't want to abuse my bags, but like I've just thrown loads of things and I've bulked it up and it's held up really well. Like all the stitching's intact um, around like the arms, the arms, the handles and things like that. They are doing a 70% discount. Uh, so it might be an opportunity for me to grab a smaller bag because they have this in a brown color and a black color and this is like a crop effect and now's the time to be grabbing it um, because there's such great quality bags i really want a small one i wish they did like a mini like this size because you know i have the entire collection this is called the handbag kate and they do loads of like other ones but this has to be my favorite that i work wear like again and again and it's still really sturdy and the color's great a nice gray color i'll probably use this in one of my other hauls like for autumn outfits when i'm kind of grayed out because i feel like september like august september time is where i will wear like lighter colors and then phase in the browns and the black the blacks i love to wear october november in fact all the time but i love wearing browns and i feel like this just lightens up the bag um lightens up the outfit and i do want to pair this with another outfit that i've got so i'll show you that quickly as well so the next thing i want to show you is this top this is a pima cotton um top i don't really know what that means maybe it's just like good quality cotton but when i say it feels so nice on the skin it feels so nice it's really see-through so you probably want to wear like a skin colored uh bra underneath um or if you want to wear it as a layering piece it's comfortable around the neck um, I really like this around the neck. It looks really premium quality, um, but it is super see-through, but so comfortable. And now I'll be wearing this like as like a layering piece. And I've just got a pair of leggings. Um, I didn't pick these up from H&M. I got these from Shein, and they're super duper comfortable. The quality is really nice. So I will link them for you. Anyways, if you're pregnant, get these. If you are petite like me, cut these <laughs> because they do come up a little long. Um, and I just picked them up in like a, I don't know, I'll link it below, I may have got it in a small, possibly a medium, I can't quite remember, but I paired it with these boots, now, I don't know about anyone else, but my calves have gone, like, a lot bigger than what they used to be, because I can't fit into certain ankle boots, not ankle boots, uh, knee-high boots, and I'm just like, does this mean I have to get rid of all my boots? And get a new collection <laughs> um no i honestly don't know 
but um, I don't know if anyone else has that issue with their calves, but yeah, mine have really gone like a different, different way. I picked up in a floor and then I picked up this boucle jacket which I find when H&M do jackets like this Zara will do them for like £100 60 or whatever H&M always do them for half the price but what I don't like sometimes is that they're a bit tight around here but this one seems okay but I don't know how I'll get on going on because when you're pregnant you do end up putting on weight where you know you haven't really put on weight before so I don't know how that's going to go for me but this automatically makes my outfit really smart and ready like to say work because I have got a little bit of time at work before I go on mat leave and I struggle what to wear in the mornings so comfy pair of leggings is a must the jacket's great this covers my bump the only thing with these leggings is that you see a seam down here but I don't think anyone's going to be staring down there um, and then I've got this um, cape bag um, a Teddy Blake, love the name by the way, and this is in a 12 inch, and I really would like a 9 inch, just something a little smaller, but for work, and if you're someone who likes to carry like loads of stuff in their bag, and this size works out really great, and it goes with this kind of black and white top, and it just looks really smart. So I feel like really chic, I do feel like I need a black pair of glasses, which I don't have down here by the way, my house is upside down at the minute with the refurb and we are getting some wardrobes, so I'm going to show you upstairs when I get them because there's a lot going on. And um, with a pair of sunglasses and a sunny autumn day, this outfit's really cute, um, obviously you can lose the glasses if you're feeling a bit too much. And But yeah, I will say, if you're going to get any of the things that I've shown you, get this. If you're pregnant, not pregnant, it's super soft on you. Um, it has loads of stretch. It's flattering. And this is a size small. You could probably even opt like down a size um, because I feel like it will stretch out anyways. And I'm going to check if they've got it in black colour because this is going to be a great, great laying piece. Um, so yeah, I really do like this. So again, you can see how see-through it is, you can see the um, label, but it's so comfortable on my bum, especially when your skin's quite sensitive as well. So this dress is just gorgeous, um, again, not maternity um, like category, uh, I picked this up in a small, it's a camel coloured dress. It can be dressed up or dressed down. I mean, the fabric is like a slinky fabric. And I know actually that this isn't my favourite fabric. Like, it's nice you can dress it both ways. But sometimes you don't want to look, like, overly dressed. You just want to be a bit cash and still have something like this. But that's what you've got knit dresses for. So, anyways, love this. This is in a beautiful camel colour. I paired it with these boots. Again, these are an old pair of boots from Mango, but the heel is a low heel. Um, obviously, further along the line, I don't know if my ankles are going to get swelly and what I'm going to be able to wear. Um, so, yeah, this is the end of the video. And I really am looking forward to doing more videos. I'm really sorry that I haven't been well enough to do videos in summer. Like for me, I haven't been summering. I've just not been feeling like amazing. So yeah, I can't wait for like going into autumn, some cooler months. I'm, I know I'm just gonna be, well, I don't know. I'm hoping I'm gonna be a lot more better. I do wanna show you guys um, my kitchen now. My backsplash is up. 
and just do a bit of a tour we've got loads of stuff going on up upstairs and there's going to be loads to show so do stay tuned and i think i'm going to do like some other ways to style that i've picked up from h&m in next week's video and get a bit more kind of essentials to get me through um the winter autumn mix and match um nothing like overly expensive or anything like that because i will be going on mat leave so i won't be having much so it'll just be like you know bougie on a budget type of thing as well so anyways thank you so much for tuning in and i really can't wait to see you guys soon in my next video bye